Hey everyone! In this video, we are going to learn how to use A-Step to create music from lyrics. A-Step supports up to 19 languages, but this video will focus only on English. So let's get started. First, let's download the A-Step model. The download link I am using is in the description. Let's open this link in our browser. Here we go. All we have to do is download this one file, which is called A-Step v 13.5 bsafatensors to download the file, use the download button. In my case, I already have the file, so I am not going to download it again, but you should. After finishing the download, let's see where we need to put the file inside Comfy UI. Open the downloads folder, cut the file named a step v 13.5 bsafatensors then open the Comfy UI folder. Inside it, open the Comfy UI folder again. Find the folder called Models and open it. Then look for the folder named Checkpoints and open that as well. Paste the file into this folder. That's it, now go back to the main Comfy UI folder and launch Comfy UI. In my case, I've already done this, so let's switch to Comfy UI. Let's refresh Comfy UI by pressing R on the keyboard. Let's start building a workflow for using a step. First, add a node called Load Checkpoint. To do this, double-click your left mouse button and search for Load Checkpoint. Then click on it. In the checkpoint name, select a step v 13.5 bsafatensors Then add a node called Model Sampling SD3 and set the shift value to around 4.0. Then, connect the model output of the load checkpoint node to the model input of the model sampling SD3 node. Click and drag from the model output of the model sampling SD3 node and select K sampler from the list. After adding the K sampler node, set the steps to 50, the CFG value to 4.0, then change the sampler name from Euler to Res Multistep, and the scheduler from Normal to Simple. Next, we need a prompt for adding music details and lyrics. In any empty area, double-click the left mouse button and search for text and code A step audio. Click on it, then let's rescale the node. After that, connect the clip output of the load checkpoint node to the clip input of the text and code A step audio node. Then connect the conditioning output to the positive input of the K sampler node. Next, add a node called conditioning zero out. Connect the conditioning output of the text and code A step audio node to the conditioning input of the conditioning zero out node. Then connect the conditioning output of the conditioning zero out node to the negative input of the K sampler node. So in our case, what does this node do? By using this node, we can skip adding a separate prompt for negative conditioning. Simply put, it ensures that the conditioning signal coming from the text and code A step audio will be zeroed out before going to the negative input of K sampler. Next, add a node called empty A step latent audio. Then connect the latent output of the empty A step latent audio node to the latent image input of the K sampler node. In the empty A step latent audio node, we can set the length of our music generation. The value is in seconds. If we want to create four minutes of music, then convert four minutes into seconds and input that value here. Here's an extra tip, just type four asterisk 60 and then press enter. Comfy UI will do the math for you. Here we go, we got 240 as the math result. Then add a node called VAE decode audio. Connect the latent output of the K sampler node to the sample's input of the VAE decode audio node. After that, connect the VAE output of the load checkpoint node to the VAE input of the VAE decode audio node. Then click and drag from the audio output of the VAE decode audio node and select save audio from the list. Okay, now we have finished building the workflow, it is time to make music. So let's move over to the text encode A step audio node. Here we can see there are two text boxes, one is called tags and the other is called lyrics. The tags box is for describing the kind of music we want. For example, if we want a female voice in our music, then type the keyword female voice. If we want a male voice, then type male voice. If we want pop music, then type pop. If we want a trance touch, then type trance. If we want an electronic touch, then type electronic. If we want funk music, then type funk. If we want a piano playing in our music, then type piano. So I have some keywords in my notepad. Let's copy and paste them into the tags box. Now let's move to the lyrics box. From the name, you can understand that this is where we type the lyrics of the music we are going to create. So if you know how to write music with structure, then write it here. Or we can use ChatGPT or Gemini for creating random lyrics with good structure. So I have some lyrics on my notepad, let's copy and use them here. Starting off the lyrics, you can see I wrote inst. Inside square brackets, which will ensure the music starts with some instrumental playing. After adding the lyrics, let's change the lyric strength from 1.0 to 0.9. That's it guys, now we are ready to create the music. Let's click on the run button. Okay, I am going to move the run button from the bottom to the top so you can see it clearly. Then I will click the run button. So guys, be patient and wait until the generation finishes. 
By mistake, I clicked the run button twice, that's okay. I am going to cancel one generation, then let's wait, guys. The generation has finished. It took around two minutes for the generation. Let's play the audio to see the result. You grew where no one saw the light In the cracks been the stone Whisper in the morning sun, soft but standing all alone. Like a flower. And that's it guys, what do you think about the song? Let me know in the comment section. So from my testing, I can say that the model is good, it does have some problems, but when comparing it with other free models, it does a pretty good job. So guys, try different music styles and different music lyrics. Let me know what your results are and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.